Okay. Thank you. Yeah, unless you're 90 or plus, there's no need to go there. We are in Warren. Leaky basement. Uh, quite a few different things going on. Um, homeowner took some of the paneling down. Let's start over here. Let's follow this. And I guess we'll start here. It's going to be a little bit longer video. Sorry to bore the hell out of you, but what can I tell you? Anyway, some of the water is coming in over here. For instance, like through a leaky rod hole and another one, right? Um, there is some minor staining under this particular window. That's not much, though. But you got quite a bit of water on the floor. And there is quite a bit of water around a lot of the perimeter. So I recommended that the homeowner first call, find an honest, experienced plumber, and have them snake the clean out. Because I've had a lot of homeowners who only needed to snake that. That's not all of her. Hopefully that's part of the solution. Only costs whatever, 100 bucks, 125. Now she's also got this just happened in the last week where this, uh, you see the water all in this area, this corner. Well, this is all wet. I don't know if the fans uh, causing the condensation or there's, you know, look at this shit. And it's just dripping all the way up and down this thing. So, and there's no crack or no leaky rod hole in this area. A little bit out of that guy, not much. I'm not causing all this shit. So this is what may be the problem in this corner. Has nothing to do with that. And we hear, I'll try to hurry up. This is a control joint. It's about four feet off the edge of the porch. It leaks a little. Not a lot, not like them other, not like that area. Uh, right here's the perimeter again. I'll show you a little more because she never saw this. She just took the paneling off all along there. I'm hoping Snake and the clean out will do the trick. Now here's another one of her bad leaks. Right? You see some staining on the wall right there under the steps that goes up. Well, there's paneling up there. So I can't see if there's a crack or rod hole or maybe all of the water is running from the top of the wall down, meaning, because I saw some openings along the, uh, in motor joints, the bricks, etc., also over there by the door. So that's where the water could be, may, might be, first getting in. Then we got other problems, like some leaky rod holes, one or two were patched in the past. This is her back. Uh, she's got, you know, a door back here, and there are openings around and underneath the door. That's what's causing that. Here's another control joint, right? It's got a little hairline crack in it, but it doesn't leak. She has never seen water there, so we leave that alone. Leaky rod hole, leaky rod hole, leaky rod hole. And there's more over there. All right, more along the perimeter behind here. More behind the perimeter there. See this thing? See this? Uh, here, that's, uh, again, another leaky rod hole. Same thing there. Some water stains under the window. Now, the, uh, some of the stains under some of these windows might be old stains from the old window. And then, again, coming from the perimeter... I can't tell if there's a lower rod hole right here because the ledge is in the way uh, that's uh, allowing that water in. Or, again, that might just be from, I hope, uh, a blockage in the lateral line. And then over here, chimney, water coming out the chimney chute door going underneath the furnace, right? So that's either a crack on the out below ground on the outside of the chimney walls and or Openings above ground in the mortar joints, bricks, flashing, crown, etc. Or both. Uh-huh. Alright, night, night, little weave. 